Hey everyone, this is Eat Sleep from the Techies, and today in Paint.net, I'm going to be showing you how to create a soft mask. And this is really popular in Photoshop for, like, let's just say, in this example, taking the moon and moving it into another image, similar to what I did here, is I just added some clouds and then I added the moon in there. I did a pretty poor job, and just did this really quickly just to show you what you can do with it. Um, in this particular case, however, it's probably a bad example, but it would probably be easier to just take this, um, instead of using a mask, take a uh, shape tool and just use that shape as a mask. But for this tutorial's sake, I'll just show you the um, workaround, for example, if you have com more complex images that are not just like perfect circles or squares. So to do this, what we're going to do is we are going to first go ahead and find our um, our window okay first what we're gonna do is I had to bring up this uh, layers tab over here what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and add a layer this is gonna be our masking layer um, what we're gonna go ahead and do is choose our paintbrush tool get it a decent size let's say 65 that's a good that's a good amount gonna go with like a cyan color the color does not matter at all um, just I'm just gonna choose a color that you can see what you're doing so choose cyan or if you want to choose black you can go ahead and choose black but the idea is to go over whatever you want to be met oh man that's bad this is gonna be difficult um, but let's just do a rough job Oh man, I was I was way out of the lines here. All right, so we have this. And if you would like to touch up a little bit, you can go ahead and click on the eraser tool and um, do do some touch ups. So, all right, I feel like that made it worse. <laughs> but um, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and select the magic wand tool and click on whatever we just masked on layer 2. So to get rid of the um, color there to see what you've masked, you can uncheck the transparency tab and then you can see a lot of stuff that you missed and then you can go back and edit it if you need to. So now that we have that selected, that is effectively our um, selected part on our background. So if you want to delete it, you go ahead and delete it. If you want to go ahead and um, delete the background, for example, if you go over to edit and invert the selection, so now you have the um, black area background and if selected, and if you hit delete, it'll delete the um, background. So um, very simple to do, um, very powerful as well. And again, in this case, it would have been easier to just take the shape tool and done that. You, you would have gotten a much cleaner uh, look there, but it uh, it beats the heck out of using the mask tool or the lasso tool to do this. Lasso tool in Paint.net is admittedly not not very good, but um, yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions or you want to see anything else or n need to learn how to do anything else, just uh, put a comment down below. Thank you for watching. This has been Eat Sleep from the Techies. <music> Thank you.